Welcome to the Thyroid Fixer Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Amy, and we're diving deep into the world of hormones, especially for all you fierce women in perimenopause and menopause and anyone dealing with hypothyroidism. If you're struggling with weight gain, you feel like shedding those pounds is an impossible feat. If you're dealing with plummeting energy levels, gut-wrenching fatigue, or a libido that seems to have left town, then you're in the right place. And don't even get me started on the hair loss. If these symptoms are sounding all too familiar, you found your tribe. Welcome, because my goal is to educate, empower, and shake up your world. I want you to embrace every inch of that badass woman that you truly are. So if you're ready to dive in and fix things, let's get started. Did you ever come home from a really long day, your energy's drained, and you just want to sit down and watch Netflix and eat a good dinner, but... You got to still squeeze in your workout. So how about if you actually got home at seven and your workout was done by 7.05? Does that blow your mind? You're already done. You're unwinding. That's the reality with Carol Bike. In just five minutes, you experience a workout that is scientifically proven to be as effective as a 45-minute run. Carol isn't just a time saver. It's your literal shortcut to health. Happiness, better muscles, lower body fat, leaving you more time for what actually matters in life, like watching Netflix and eating a great dinner. So if you want to check out Carol Bike, they give you a, a warranty, a trial period that is unmatched. They'll even come get it if you don't like it. 30 days. I mean, who can even beat that? So check it out. Go to carolbike.com, C-A-R-O-L-B-I-K-E.com. You're going to use the code Dr. Amy if you grab one of these bad boys, which I highly recommend doing. You're going to use the code Dr. Amy. That is going to save you $100 off. And again, there's no risk. There's no risk. Try it for 30 days. If you don't like it, they will come pick it up. But I guarantee you the time-saving aspect the muscle building aspect, the fat burning aspect, you're just going to love it. Are you trying to lose weight? I mean, most of us are, but when you cut calories or you use those new Beverly Hills soccer mom drug of choice for weight loss injectables, you're not going to get in enough protein. And that's the problem. That's where you start losing muscle and fat at the same time. You don't want to lose your sexy lean muscle. So Keon Aminos helps prevent muscle loss. Keon Aminos can help you feel full when you're cutting calories, which uh, that's a bonus. And it's going to help you build that lean muscle for a faster metabolism, a lean tone, sexy body. So add in Keon Aminos. I do it every single day. I drink them during my workout. And then I'll also drink them throughout the day because that's supporting my muscles, keeping my muscles as I'm just sitting at my desk working. Add in Keon Aminos, try them out. I love the berry, I love the mango, but you're gonna love all the flavors. Toss it in your water, shake it up, drink it throughout the day. And then, like I said, definitely during a workout. So you are going to use my link to save 20% off. So that's a no brainer for you to try these out. You're going to go to getkeon.com. That's G-E-T-K-I-O-N.com backslash thyroid. And that is going to give you 20% off your first order. Let me know what you think. If you haven't heard of Dr. Tom O'Brien, then I apologize. You may be living under a rock. This man has been in the space for decades, really changing things for us, changing how we think about toxins and how we think about gluten and what we should be doing for ourselves and for our kids. He's dove into the world of chronic inflammation and how it can affect every single area of our health and our life. So today I had the honor of talking to him. Oh my goodness, this man is just a genius. And I don't care where you are in your journey, thyroid, hormones, weight loss, or just overall health as you move into perimenopause and menopause, this is a must listen. We are all exposed to so many toxins, so many bombardments to our body on a daily basis. And there are things that you don't even, I didn't even know. I didn't even think about, rather. 
the exposure to plastics. Every time we grab that water bottle, that plastic water bottle, particles of plastic are inside it that go inside of us. We live in a plastic world. We live in a toxic world. Dr. Tom is going to shed some interesting light on this whole inflammation equation and is going to let you know some little tips that you can do to change your life and your body today. Dr. Tom O'Brien, you're you're pretty much an OG in this space. I mean, you have educated millions of run-the-mill people, but also practitioners alike. I've been listening to your information, reading your blogs forever now, reading your books forever. So I'm just honored for you to be on my show and talk all the things that like toxins, <laughs> uh, we're, we're talking inflammation, we're going to tie that to Hashimoto's today. So I'm just super pumped that you're here. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, it's pretty shocking. Blue Cross Blue Shield published in February of 2020, and no one paid any attention to this because that's when the virus came out. But it should have been on the front page of every paper in the country. They said, we've got a real problem here. In the previous four-year period, there was a 407% increase, not 10%, not 20%, not 50%, 407% increase in the diagnosis of Alzheimer's in 30 to 44-year-olds. Oh, but that in young? Oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's like, wake up, world. Wake up. And this is the pandemic that nobody is talking about. And it's because of the amount of inflammation in the brain for years, killing off brain cells, killing off brain cells, killing off brain cells that never stops mm -hmm. because it's the petrol on the fire that's causing the inflammation. You're activating the immune system, trying to protect you from something. And the result is you get this inflammation that's going after your brain. And mm -hmm. in the world of thyroid, which is your expertise, a, right. a classic example is phthalates, the chemicals used to mold plastic. They're called endocrine disruptors. And these phthalates, you know, like, got a study came out 10 weeks ago now, something like 10 weeks ago. They took three major brands of water, one liter bottles of water, and there's new technology to measure the amount of plastic in the water. There, we've heard of microplastics. Well, now mm -hmm. they can measure nanoplastics. That's okay. a billionth of a gram. And the average in three one liter bottles was over 240,000 nanoplastic particles in each bottle, 240,000. And that stuff, when you drink that water, it goes right through you, right through your gut, into your bloodstream, right from your bloodstream into your brain. It accumulates in the brain. These microplastics, these nanoplastics accumulate in the brain and your immune system in the brain, you have four different immune systems in the body. The most powerful one is the one in the brain. And that one just goes berserk. We got to get rid of this stuff. You know, the immune system in your gut, where 70 to 80% of the immune system lives is in your gut. That's like the uh, sheriff in the old cowboy town. He's got a six gun right on his hip. And he's walking <laughs> around keeping the peace with his six gun. But then the immune system in your bloodstream, that's like special forces. These mm -hmm. guys with high powered laser scope rifles, they're called antibodies. But then the immune system in your brain, these guys have bazookas. They don't mess around. If something gets in through the blood-brain barrier, they just blow it away. And that protects us and it saves us. The problem is you keep throwing gasoline on the fire. You keep creating the inflammation that causes the leaky brain, the breach of the blood-brain barrier, and these molecules get in through the brain, you activate the glial cells, the immune system in the brain, firing bazookas every single day. And the collateral damage damages the brain tissue. And the result is you now make antibodies to the damaged brain tissue to get rid of the old and damaged cells to make room for new cells. But this is going on every day. And here comes MS. Here comes depression, here comes schizophrenia, here comes migraines. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the symptoms are, the mechanism is very similar. It's always inflammation. Well, it's interesting that you brought in all those other symptoms because so many of my ladies listening to this, mostly women, 
complain about migraines, complain about depression. And of course we can link that to thyroid. We can link it to hormones, low progesterone, the like. Right. But it's interesting to hear you talk about plastics. You started with the Alzheimer's piece, which made me think of my mother who passed from Alzheimer's, as did her father. And I remember a time where her and my dad would take the plastic water bottles. They they buy a case of Dasani. They would drink that water and then, listen to this one, put it in the dishwasher to oh. wash the bottle. So now it's heating up the plastic and right. then they would refill it with their filtration system on their <laughs> sink. We didn't so know. I, yeah. Oh my gosh. So yes, I mean, Alzheimer's obviously is a big one that all of us want to avoid, but you're bringing up everyday symptoms that people do not tie together with inflammation and with something like plastics. Yeah. Plastics bind to your thyroid. BPA binds to your thyroid. Now you have what's called a neoantigen, a new cell, this thyroid BPA cell. And your immune system says, what is that? That's not part of me. I better fight that. Now you attack that neoantigen to destroy it. So you damage the thyroid component, the thyroid cell component of that complex. Now you make more antibodies to get rid of the damaged thyroid cell. And But this continues every day. You're drinking from plastic water bottles. You're putting nail polish on your fingers. You're storing your leftover food in plastic storage containers. You get your coffee with the lid on it and you drink the coffee, but the BPA that's in the lid and in the inner lining of the cup comes through the liquid, mm -hmm. right? And you, you keep getting the exposure to these plastics that have an affinity to bind to your thyroid and many other tissues, but bind to your thyroid, your immune system trying to protect you from this foreign substance attacks that neoantigen. So now you damage that thyroid cell. So now you make antibodies get rid of damaged thyroid cells. And here comes Hashimoto's. Well, that's interesting because I get asked the question all the time. Why do you think that there's an increase in Hashimoto's lately? I mean, within the last really 10 to 15 years. And there's so many people out there like, well, it's Lyme disease or it's mold or something. But I always go back to toxins. I think that we are in an increasingly toxic world. So I'll let you speak That's to that exactly since you right. dove into it. Right. That That is exactly right. That That is the problem. That's why Alzheimer's is going up in 30 to 44 year olds so dramatically. They were born toxic because their moms were toxic. Every generation is being exposed to more and more chemicals. The American Academy of Pediatrics published a policy statement in the Journal of Pediatrics. Now, a policy statement means this is from the board of the American Academy. This is for every pediatrician out there and every doctor that's treating children. And they said, the Toxic Substance Control Act has failed miserably to protect our children and adults but this is a pediatric journal. And what they identified was that this act, which is the federal guidelines for all chemicals introduced into our environment, this is the guidelines, has no teeth, absolutely no teeth. And it was passed knowing there was no teeth to it because the chemical industry paid off the senators and they paid off the representatives to pass this legislation when advocates are saying, no, no, you can't pass this. This has got no teeth because you have to prove that the amount of chemical you're exposed to in a 24 hour period is toxic to humans. And the amount of phthalates in your nail polish that you apply on your nails, that amount of phthalates that gets into your bloodstream in four minutes when you apply it on your nails, that that's what hardens the nails, it gets in your bloodstream, minute amounts of it get in your bloodstream. That is not toxic to humans. There is no evidence that that amount of exposure is toxic to humans. And that's how they got away with this crap. Mm -hmm. That's how they got away with it. It's, you have to prove it's toxic to humans within mm -hmm. 24, the amount that you're exposed to. And it's not. But it accumulates in your body. Right. So give me a five-year-old girl painting her 10 little fingers and 10 little toes once a week for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Now she's 30 years old, married, gets pregnant, hopefully has a healthy pregnancy and a healthy delivery. Now, Chicago, 2016, 
346 pregnant women in the eighth month of pregnancy, they did urine analysis mm -hmm. and they measured five phthalates, including BPA. There are many more, but they just measured five. Mm -hmm. They put the results into quartiles, the lowest, the next, the third, the highest. And then they followed the offspring of those pregnancies for seven years. When the children turned seven years old, they did Wexler IQ tests on them, the official IQ test. There's not much in medicine that's all or every, but this was every. Every child whose mother was in the highest category of phthalates and urine in pregnancy, compared to the children whose mothers were in the lowest category, every child in the highest category, their IQ was seven points lower than these kids. Seven point, 6.7 to 7.4 points lower across the board. Now, that doesn't mean anything to anyone until you understand a one-point difference in IQ is noticeable. Mm -hmm. A seven-point difference is a difference between a kid working really hard, getting straight A's in school, and a kid working really hard, getting straight C's. Yeah. This kid doesn't have a chance in hell of ever excelling because their brain never developed properly. Right. I'll just go to Google and type in phthalates and neurogenesis. Okay. Here come the studies. The higher the phthalate level, the more inhibition of brain cell growth. But there's no evidence that the amount of phthalates you get from applying nail polish is toxic to you. There's no evidence. But it's accumulative over a lifetime. That's the kicker. That's how they got away with this. Now, in the European Union, over 10,000 chemicals are restricted, uh, pro prohibited from being brought into the country. In the United States, 12. Yep. And that's one of the things that pisses me off to no end yeah. that I talk about so often. You can go to Europe and you are safer over there eating, drinking, using body lotion than you are traveling in the U.S. I mean, That's it's right. it's unbelievable. And then, right, yeah. the kids, the red food dye, the blue, the 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 goldfish crackers that are colored all different colors of the rainbow, right. all of that. Those are banned in Europe. It's crazy. It's irrational, and it's all profit. So, in that American Academy of Pediatrics policy statement, they pointed out that it was twenty seven trillion pounds of chemicals imported or manufactured in the US every year. That means nothing, Danny. I don't know what that number means. So I took 27 trillion, I divided it by 365 days and by 350 some million people. It comes out to 247 pounds per person per day. Five 50 pound bags for you and oh. five for me every single day are being imported or manufactured in the US. And that's why every autoimmune disease is going up four to 9% a year. Mm -hmm. That's why, is yeah. because we're being exposed to all of these different chemicals. You know, I have an event that we'll talk about that's mm -hmm. going on right now. And I interviewed Fran Drescher, the mm -hmm. nanny. And uh, Fran is a four year survivor of uterine cancer. And she asked her doctor, her oncologist, she said, she saved my life and now she's my good friend. But I asked her, why did this happen? And she said, well, we don't know, it just happens. And Fran said, well, I didn't believe that. And so I decided to devote my fame, not to raising money for cancer research, but to raise awareness of where cancer comes from. Mm -hmm. And it's the environment. So Fran founded Cancer Schmancer and it's great. And she has these events a few times a year. And she has a book, New York Times bestselling book, Cancer Schmancer. And she points out it's all of the chemicals that we're exposed to. And, uh, you know, and so I said to her in the interview, I said, you know, Fran, you are the only person I know other than me. And she started laughing that laugh of hers. Right. Yeah. And I said, you're the only one I know that does this. She said, oh, what, what? And I said, well, when we rang the doorbell and your staff welcomed us in, very friendly and welcoming, before we could come in your house, I had to put those little hospital blue booties on my feet to cover my shoes. And she started laughing, her belly laugh. And yeah, yeah, because my neighbor sprays their lawn for dandelions. Now the weed killer, and they, they, they irrigate, they have sprinklers for their lawns. So now there's some water on the sidewalks and 
You walk on the sidewalk, now there's weed killer on your shoes. And you walk into my house, now there's weed killer on my carpet. My little doggies walking around, they get weed killer on their paws. Mm -hmm. My dog is not going to die of cancer. And she does her laugh. And But that's really what it takes, you know, is that kind of fanaticism to protect you and your family. And it's so out of the box. People don't understand this. That's why we put together this event, the Inflammation Equation. So yeah, no, people- I'm, I'm excited about that because I think that's really going to guide people into what they can do. So with that, and I'm sure this is in the Inflammation Equation, but you said, you know, you have to be that fanatic. Can you tell people how can they baby step their way into more protection of themselves, yeah. their kids, their dogs. Yeah, yeah. Because it seems uh, overwhelming. It seems it is, overwhelming. No, it is. Yeah. It is overwhelming. It's completely overwhelming. And if you don't know that going into it, you're going to fall on your face. Mm-hmm. It, so what you have to understand, it's in the title of my book. You can fix your brain. Mm-hmm. I uh, love that book. A, that's a you know, two weeks. I argued with Rodale Press on the title. They wanted some fancy titles. No, the message is you can fix your brain. That's the message. But the subtitle of the book really says the secret to success. Just one hour a week to the best memory, productivity, and sleep you've ever had. So Mrs. Patient, you know, there are 36 different to-dos in this book. Where to get organic nail polish. You know, here's three URLs for organic nail polish. Where to get glass storage containers. Here's three URLs. So you tell your family, you know what, every Tuesday night after dinner or every Sunday after services, whenever it is, but you tell them every week, don't bother me for the next hour. I'm allocating one hour to learn more how we can be healthier. Mm -hmm. And then you go back to the book and you look to the URLs for glass storage containers. Well, there's Miles Kimball and there's Amazon and whatever the third one was. And you look at those, okay, oh, I like those. And you order three round ones and two square ones and one for the pie, hit send, you're done. You're Mm -hmm. done for the week. It took you an hour, but you're done for the week. Never again will you poison your family serving them leftover food that was stored in plastic storage containers. Right. And then next week, you go for the organic cosmetics. And then next week, you go for the house plants to clean the air in your house. And then next week, and every week, one hour a week, and in six months, you've completely changed your paradigm of how you live your life and the environment around you. You did it in a sensible way of one step at a time. That's totally That's doable. That's the key to success. You will be overwhelmed. There's no question. You will. It's okay. It's okay. As long as you have patience. And, you know... <laughs> Fran said to me at one point in the interview, you know, I asked her, I said, you know, you're really good at empowering people and motivating people. And and she said, oh, thank you. And I said, what do you do with this overwhelm that people get? And she looked at me and she said, well, Dr. Tom, how did you go to my guest's bathroom? And I said, well, you know, just right, right over there. I played dumb. I knew what she was doing. I just, it's right over there. She goes, yes, but how did you get there? And she had that little sparkle in her eye. <laughs> and I said, one step at a time. <laughs> time right. Said, That's right. That's right. And that laugh of hers that's so engaging, you know. You just take the baby steps. Everybody thinks, well, I want it now. I want my thyroid working better today. No, I, I need it fixed right now. How do I fix it right now? What do I take so that I'm better this week? Mm-hmm. All right, if it's going to take a week, okay. But wait, wait, wait. You're like 42 years old and you've been diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroid disease, which we know takes at least seven years of elevated antibodies before you get a diagnosis. So you've got a condition that's been going on for seven, 10 years, and you want it fixed within the week? Really? That's not going to happen. Right. 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 But you take baby steps. You take one step at a time, six months later, you go to church and you see somebody you haven't seen. Wow, what happened to you? You look great. Oh, thank you. No, you look really good. But what happened? Well, yeah, you know, I'm down two dress sizes. 
I've only lost a couple of pounds, but I'm down two dress sizes because I've got more muscle and less fat. And, you know, I've got organic nail polish. I'm using glass storage containers and I use a stainless steel cup when I go to the coffee shop instead of using their cups. And I've got house plants in every room. And your friend's mm -hmm. looking at you like, what, what, what? She's overwhelmed by everything you're saying. But you were successful in doing it because you took one step at a time. And that's the key to success. So when you hear all of the stuff that's causing the problems that we're getting today, like the increase in Alzheimer's and 30 to 44 year olds, mm -hmm. every autoimmune disease going up four to 9% a year, every year, every mm -hmm. one of them. So yep. when you hear those kinds of overwhelming statistics, you can keep it in perspective, say, okay, all right, I'm just going to take one step at a time. You know, I'll change what I can and not make my life too crazy, but I really want my daughter's seizures to go away. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we'll do everything we can. I'm checking in with you. How's your energy these days? How's your skin? How's your muscle strength? These are things that are very, very important to me. And I know just from research that after the age of 30, our mitochondria starts breaking down. And these are the powerhouses of the cell that provide us with muscle strength and better skin and abundant energy through the day. So I've added in something that I wanted to share with you, Timeline Nutrition's MitoPure. So when we look into research and healthy aging, it really focuses on that pivotal role that our mitochondria plays in our body. And without our mitochondria working at top notch, then health is just declining. And that's not what we want. Daily wear and tear on a mitochondria is inescapable, but we can do something about it now. Timeline Nutrition's MitoPure is the first supplement that has been clinically shown to replace and rebuild damaged mitochondria. And this results in a boost in cellular energy. And actually, research has shown that individuals experience an increase in muscle strength and endurance without even altering their diet and exercise routine. So, I mean, I can personally attest to feeling the difference. I am now going to ask you to feel the difference. So I invite you to go to TimelineNutrition.com. They're giving my community 10% off of MitoPure if you use the code Dr. Amy. So you are going to go to TimelineNutrition.com backslash Dr. Amy and use the code Dr. Amy, D-R-A-M-I-E. So TimelineNutrition.com backslash D R. A-M-I-E, and use the code Dr. Amy at checkout. Children with drug-resistant epilepsy. That means technically they've had at least three medications that don't work. They're still having seizures. Okay. Children with drug-resistant epilepsy go into complete remission. 50% of them go into complete remission on a gluten-free diet. 50%. And that's really how they discovered gluten and what it does to the body was based on those studies, correct? Well, yeah, yeah, we've known for a long time, but it's, but it's uh, those kind of jaw drop. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fifty percent. Well, yeah. how come my neurologist didn't tell us that? Because your neurologist doesn't read gastroenterology journals, and that was published in a gastroenterology journal, not a neurology journal, right? My right. point is, it's the environment. It's the things that we put in our body, on our body, and that have accumulated inside of us already that are fueling the fire, causing the diseases we get. Now, the difference between the average lifespan, for men it's 78 years, for women it's 82 years, the difference between the average lifespan and healthy lifespan, mm -hmm. What, what does healthy lifespan mean? It means you're not diagnosed with a disease and you're not immobilized. The difference is for women, it's 21% of their life. So it's over 20 years. They've got disabilities for the last 20 years of their life. For men, it's the last 19 years of their life. They have disabilities. They can't walk up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Or they've got high blood pressure. They've got to calm down, you know, or whatever the disability is. So what do you want in your senior years? If you want vibrant, if you want vitality and, and, and being able to function and do the things you want to do in your life, it's what you do in your midlife that determines that. So 
Absolutely. It's, it's just jaw dropping when you see these statistics and when you hear this information laid out in a sequential way by the world experts. I traveled to seven countries, you know, and I interviewed 64 different people. And you hear the world expert on aging tell you that it's always inflammation, mm -hmm. always. And that's then you brain. learn where inflammation comes from. You say, well, well, that's not hard to reduce exposure to that. Right, exactly. But then there's the next one you have to reduce exposure to and the next one and the next one. So if you have the right attitude and you do it one step at a time in six months, you've turned your life around mm -hmm. and you've got this. That's the way to approach this. I love that. I love breaking it down into baby steps because even when you were telling me what to do, it seemed it seemed a bit overwhelming. Now, I've heard you on my friend JJ Virgin's podcast. You were talking about going overseas and you had something done that they actually kind of recirculated your blood and pulled out the plastics. Is that right. something that we can do here or you literally have to travel to like Sweden to get it done? Understand the question. It's called Innis phoresis, I-N-U-S, Innis phoresis. It's the most advanced form. Well, the, you know, it's the same concept for kidney dialysis where they clean your blood, right? Okay. But but that, that was created, oh, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 years ago. I don't know how long. But generations of improvement in technology. Now, Innis phoresis is the latest generation. You sit in a lazy boy chair and, you know, they put a, a line in your vein Blood's coming out, it's going into the machine, it's filtered, comes back in your other arm. Mm -hmm. And you see this crap uh, in this clear bag that you, wow, what's that? Well, you see the waviness? Yeah, that's plastic. Oh my That's gosh. all plastics. You see the heavy metals coming out. They sit at the bottom. They're darker color. And you see this stuff coming out. And you, I mean, that's the way you reverse disease. You've got to detox. We all know about detoxing. This is the most advanced form of detoxing that I've ever seen. There's wow. nothing like it. It's called the Swiss Mountain Clinic. Okay. They're, and they're beautiful people. They're just kind, friendly people. They're not overcharging. They're in about the middle of the road for, for prices, but they have the top quality. They have a Michelin star chef that prepares all the meals there and everything's organic and your room it's a live-in facility you know your room there you walk in there we say well this is okay it's a nice simple room swiss kind of beds and furniture solid wood beautiful simple and then you open the doors to the outside and you just want to yodel you know it's like you're 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 in the swiss mountains and it's fabulously beautiful uh ah. That but they're just good. top of the line. They're just the very best. Uh, but that equipment in us for is, and you can't expect to go to the clinic and do two or three in treatments and now you're fine. Right. It is a magnitude um, increase in the effectiveness of detoxifying. Magnitude's more powerful. But the daily stuff you do preparing before you go there, most mm -hmm. everyone, look, pinch the back of your hand. It should go flat immediately. Okay. If it sticks up a little bit and it takes a second or two before it goes flat, you're dehydrated. I'm a little dehydrated. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's so simple to see, you know, but you're dehydrated. Well, what does that mean? Well, you know, in between two major cities, the freeways are usually two lanes, maybe three lanes going one direction and two lanes or three lanes going the other direction. But as you come into the city, now it opens up into four lanes and then five lanes and some even six lanes. And there's more cars coming, but everybody's going at a good clip. But now you see up ahead, the lights are on. There's lights and oh, oh, there's construction up ahead. Now the six lanes goes down to five. Now it goes down to four. Now it goes down to three. Oh, wait, now it's three lanes, but all the traffic is there for six lanes. You're in the city now. And so you're only going five or 10 miles an hour, right? Okay. That's constipation. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't know and, where you were going with that. I was waiting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's constipation. And most of us, and you, there is no way you can eliminate if you don't have the vehicle of elimination, if your freeway is not open. Right. You need to be six lanes. You need to be well hydrated. So you can escort 
all of the toxins out that you want to mobilize. You know, the magic number with exercise is 9,846 steps per day. Okay. 9,846. You walk 10,000 steps a day, nothing else is different. You walk 10,000 steps a day, you reduce your risk of dementia by 54%. That's huge. And, that's and the, who can't do that? Yeah. And that's in the Journal of the American Medical Association. So, you know, you wear a watch or your iPhone will tell you how many steps you walk a day mm -hmm. and you just start gradually building it up. Well, it looks like I'm only walking 2,000 steps a day. Okay. So this week is going to be 2,500, right? And you just Damn. walk a little bit more. And then next week, a little bit more. And all, all of a sudden, you feel really good when you go out for a walk, you know? So right. you go out more often and you go a little bit longer. And now you're up to 10,000 steps a day. You say, I feel really good when I, the days that I miss, I don't feel so good. So, you know, if it rains, I'll just put on a hat, you know, on a rain suit and I'm going out anyway, you know, and because you feel so good when you do it. You just learn how to shift your lifestyle to take care of this machine that you've got. You mm -hmm. need to tune it up. I mean, if you treated your car, you buy a new car, and if you treated your car the way you treat your body, when's the last time you took your body in for a tune-up? You don't. <laughs> That's, a That's question. nonsense. Yeah. yeah. It's nonsense. Well, if you treated your car like that after 20, 30,000 miles, you got problems in the car. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, you treat your body like that, and after 30, 40 years, you've got problems in your body. And so yeah, you thoughts. have to learn how to begin turning it around. Now, we talked about diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, even Hashimoto's. But what about weight? I want you to speak on how this inflammation that we're causing from the toxin exposure actually can cause weight gain, whether it's related to a thyroid problem or type 2 diabetes or whatever the disease state that's linked to weight gain is. How is it directly tied to inflammation? After the age of two or three, you don't get any more fat cells. They just get bigger and smaller. Well, what are they getting bigger with? Now, there's the million-dollar question. You eat crap. You get exposed to chemicals that are in your bloodstream, and your brain says, get this stuff out of circulation. Get it away from me. And so lead or mercury or BPA or any of the organophosphate chemicals when they get in your bloodstream, if they're not filtered by the liver and gotten out of there, they get put into storage, get them off the highway. So they go into storage. And what are the storage cells in your body? Fat. That's right. Yeah. The fat cells are the storage cells. And so your fat cells get bigger. And where they get bigger with? all the toxic chemicals and water to dilute the toxicity of these things. So you get swollen, full of organophosphates and heavy metals and all of these toxins. So when you start a detox program, you really need to do it properly because if you start mobilizing all this stuff, we used to call it a healing crisis. Mm -hmm. When I opened my practice back in 1980, you know, you, you get patients detoxing, well, sometimes they'd have a healing crisis. They get sick. No, no, it wasn't a healing crisis. It was there. They were backed up. They weren't eliminating the toxins that you were mobilizing. They're dehydrated or their lymphatics are all congested or whatever it should be mm -hmm. where the problem was. Now we know, we know more, right? Right. So you never, ever start detoxing until you are drinking at least a third of an ounce of water per pound body weight. That's the prerequisite to begin with. Okay. So, so if you weigh 140 pounds, that might be an average, say 150 pounds to round it off, that's 50 ounces of water a day. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, it For should most be. People, it should be easy. Right. Yeah. yeah. Not coffee, not orange juice, not Coca-Cola water. Well, what's wrong with coffee? Well, it depends on your genes. Some people can drink coffee and they're much healthier for it. Some people can drink coffee and it'll kill them. Mm -hmm. And it all depends on your genes. If you carry the gene that you're a slow metabolizer and you drink coffee, uh, it has a negative effect on you. 
So right. that's why that's why the studies are all over the place on coffee. It just depends on your genes. It's an easy gene to test. CYP1A2, you check that gene. If you got that gene, you shouldn't be drinking coffee. That it's going to more likely have a detrimental effect for you. But water, a third of an ounce per pound body weight. And then pushing the toxins through, what are your thoughts on sauna, infrared yeah. sauna? Yeah, infrared saunas are great for you. There are so many benefits to infrared saunas. I love infrared saunas. Okay. Lots and lots of benefits. You just have to make sure you're hydrated, mm -hmm. make sure you're drinking. And if you're doing saunas regularly, or if you're exercising to the point of sweating a lot, mm -hmm. the amount of water you need is a half ounce of water per pound body weight. Uh, but for those that are not sweating a lot, a third of an ounce is where you start. But saunas are great for you. There are so many benefits. I'll tell you the most powerful one-two combination of anything you can do. The most, well, no, that's not true. The most the most influential and powerful thing you can do is build a healthy microbiome. Nothing is more powerful than that. But in terms of action steps that you can take, the most powerful thing you can do is infrared saunas a few times a week mm -hmm. and cold bath immersions a few mm -hmm. times a week. When Good. you do I those do both. two together, yeah, yeah. When when you do both of those, you change every cell in your body and you you rejuvenate healthier, younger cells. The process is called autophagy. It's mm -hmm. a good Scrabble word. Uh, it's longer than seven letters, though, so it doesn't really work for Scrabble. But it just means getting rid of the old and damaged cells and making room for new cells. Mm -hmm. And you increase autophagy, get rid of the old cells, make new cells, when you do infrared saunas, and you increase autophagy when you do cold water immersion. Put, oh. the two put the two together, and you've got a powerful one-two combination that really works well. So I was doing both of them together, but I didn't know that about the cold plunging, increasing oh, autophagy, yes. because I pretty oh, much, yes. I've put, we heard autophagy so much a few years ago when fasting was really coming into the scene and everyone was doing long fast and extended fast and seven day fast and intermittent fast. And that's where you heard about autophagy or cleaning those zombie cells. But now it, it seems like the fasting protocols have died down. I find with a lot of my thyroid patients, fasting can really throw them off. They don't get the protein in that they need. They're not drinking enough water and flushing that out. What are your thoughts on, on fasting for detox purposes? Yeah, I don't think fasting is a great idea in general. For some people, it can be helpful for a specific program you're doing. But time-restricted eating is really great. Your ancestors did not have three meals a day. They found food whenever they found food. Mm -hmm. and, and so the idea of time-restricted eating to increase getting rid of zombie, zombie cells is great. We mm -hmm. interviewed Vol Walter Longo, the yeah. prime, primary scientist in this world, has published many, many papers on the benefits of all this. It was a great conversation. When you listen to the full interview with him, the clips that we took from the interview that are in the inflammation equation are a great jaw dropping. And he talks about time restricted eating. And what that means is you eat all your food within eight to 10 hours, somewhere in there, eight to 12 hours, if it's a little more difficult for you. And then you just have water afterwards. And then uh, what happens is your body, starts going into a little bit of a fasting direction, a fasting state. And mm -hmm. so it starts cleaning up old cells, getting rid of some of that garbage. Mm -hmm. So you get the some of the benefits of fasting at a slower pace, a less intense pace, but you're talking about a lifestyle for the rest of your life. And so you get this little bit of benefit on a regular basis when you're doing time-restricted eating as a component of your lifestyle. That's very rational, safe, easy to do. Just takes a little practice. You know, every once in a while you screw up or there's going to be a, a, a dinner date you're going to that's later. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, so you'll miss it one day or something. But in general, that's the kind of way you look at all of this stuff. If you take the science 
and you apply it to your lifestyle in a way that doesn't compromise the value of the science, but really fits to your lifestyle enough that it's not stressful for you. Every time I sign a book, it's always the same. I ask the person their name, and then I write, I write their name, and then I say, base hits, win the ball game, Tom O'Brien. You know, it's like, it's, it's like Fran said, you know, how did you get to my bathroom? Mm -hmm. One step at a time. Mm -hmm. One, and that's what and I love about you. You're so practical. You've done, you've done nothing but give practical advice. Drink more water. Yeah, jump in a sauna, do a cold plunge. Who can't do 12 hours of not eating? You're sleeping half of that time anyways. Well, so these are people, all just practical right. things. Yeah, they are. They are. But, but there are some that they've altered their body in such a way, you know, they're doing too many candy bars and too much pop or alcohol or something. Their blood sugar regulations way out of balance. It may take them a few months before they can do a 12 hour fast. That's OK. True. Yep. You know, yep. you start you start with where you're at and just understand. All right. Here's the step by step by which you can get to the I mean, who cares? If it takes you six months, who cares? This mm -hmm. is the rest of your life you're yep. looking at. Walter told us, and you'll hear it in the full interview with him. It's not in the series itself, but in the full interviews that are available. Walter tells us that he had the privilege of working with this woman. She was the third oldest human on the planet. She was 103 when Walter was working with her. Mm -hmm. He said, and she's in Italy up in the mountains in Italy. And he said that he went to visit her doctor who changed her diet when she turned 100. He put her on a raw meat diet. Okay. At 100. Okay. Because her digestive enzymes weren't so good anymore uh -huh. to break down meat, but she needed the protein. Mm -hmm. And she lives in some poor village. So the guy said, eat tartar, eat tartar, right? Eat raw meat. And yeah. she lived to, she was over 105 and just sharp as could be, still active. You know, that's the way we want to be. You know, yes. you, don't, you don't want the gap between your healthy lifespan and your total lifespan. You don't want that gap. That's where you're suffering for years. And most people is 15 to 20 years of suffering. So if you're not going to be in that gap, then what you, if you're going to shorten that distance between them so that your healthy lifespan is longer and closer to your total lifespan, it's these little things that you do on a regular basis that become the habits that are the healthy lifestyle habits mm -hmm. that give you that higher quality of life. But you have to get away from this American concept, I want it now. What do I take so I can get it now? What's the buzz? You know, the buzz here is, Fasting mimicking diets, where I'm going to fast, that's the buzz. And, oh, I'm going to increase autophagy. I'm going to take this pill to increase autophagy. And, you know, there, there's all this buzz that people jump on the next thing. And they do it for a while. And they get a little benefit, but they keep being, they're still putting nail polish on. They're putting all these toxins into their bloodstream. Their lipstick's got gluten on it. And I'm gluten-free, but my blood tests say I still have antibodies to gluten, but I'm gluten-free. Well, what, what about what you're taking? You know, yeah. I mean, you, you just have to explore all of these things and figure it out. And yes, it's overwhelming. That's mm -hmm. why you put one foot in front of the other and step at a time. Beautiful. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. So the inflammation equation... This is a full docu-series. Like you said, you've traveled to multiple countries interviewing the top of the top experts in this field, anti-aging, inflammation, disease, all of it. So where can people go to actually sign up and watch this? And how long is it going to be out? They kind of need to act quickly because it's not just out there forever, right? Yeah, it, it, it launches on May 13th. Okay. And... uh um, it'll be evergreen after that, meaning it, it'll it be available sometime in the summer. We'll make it evergreen. So it's okay. always available. But you go to the inflammation equation dot com forward slash fixer. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you register, you get the full interview with Fran Drescher right away. That's yeah. my gift to everybody because you just start laughing. But then Fran, Fran looks right in the camera. Usually she, uh, she's looking over here at me. The camera's getting a side angle because she's talking to me. Mm -hmm. But she goes, what you put in your body, 
what you put on your body is where you start. And she just says it in such a way that people understand right away, you know. And she said, oh, my God, can you have the toothpaste? You know, and she had that voice of hers, which is so funny. I was laughing so hard because <laughs> if most people go to their medicine cabinet and pull out the tube of toothpaste, read it. And it says, warning, do not swallow. If right. swallowed, call National Poison Control Center. That's what it says right on the label. And do you think that they put that there because they want to? No, they had to. Because now they're legally not responsible if your child eats toothpaste and goes into a coma. They're not right. responsible. They warned you. But you don't read the label on this stuff. You don't understand the toxicity of this stuff mm -hmm. and how it accumulates in your body. So Fran and I were laughing about toothpaste. You know, she says, don't throw out your makeup. You know, use it up, you know, but buy organic, except toothpaste. Throw the toothpaste out right now. I agree. I totally agree. <laughs> yeah, so oh, I can't wait to see that. It's the inflammation equation.com forward slash fixer. Fixer. And we'll put that link in the show notes as well. So, oh, Dr. Tom, I'm so excited for this. And I'm, I'm just, I, I want to thank you for doing this for everyone, for the world, for our communities, because if, if they don't get the information, how can they change? How do yes. you know? And, and we're in a society where, the advertisements and really the lifestyle of most people are to just follow the crowd, just you know, buy the toothpaste, buy the Colgate, you know, go ahead and shop where it's the cheapest and not buy organic because it's two dollars more. That's what people are used to. And they they even justify it. I have had friends and family say, Well, that's what I grew up with. You know, I ate cereal, I ate Schwabel's bread, I use Colgate. Why should I change now? Well, it's because, like you said, the accumulation of what we're exposed to, and not that it was great in 1974 to be eating Schwabel's bread, but yes, we did it. But now we have the knowledge and the power to make those changes in our body and clean up what we did in our in our youth. Yes, yes. You know, you and I have just had the privilege of meeting here today for the first time. It's really nice to work with you. Uh, but I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit, okay. if I may. Absolutely. Because this is for your listeners. Why should I do this? Why should I? Well, I've always used Colgate, you know, all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You are a beautiful, young, middle-aged woman. Uh, you've got a great presentation. You've got great mind. Um, you're carrying a message out to the world that's really needed. And you have a family history of Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So... If you do the test, the neural zoomer plus, okay. you do the, you do that test and it's just a finger prick. You, you can do it as a finger prick test. Highly, highly accurate. According to Mayo Clinic, highly accurate. Looks at 53 markers of inflammation in your brain. Okay. You do that test and I'll come back on your show and I'll interpret the test for you on the show. Okay. So- you may invite some of your followers. Let's do this test. If you have any concern, just do this test. Go to the dr.com. That's my website, the dr.com and the doctor.com. Just don't spell the word doctor out. Mm -hmm. Order the test. They send you the test. Do the finger prick. Send it to the lab. Takes about two weeks before you get your results after you mail it to them. So if you set this up for two months from now, that gives people time. Yep. And you might have a bunch of people that have wondered, because this is the most accurate test looking for inflammation in your brain. There's nothing like it out there. It looks at 53 markers of inflammation in your brain. And when you have elevated antibodies to in your brain, by definition, you are killing off more cells than you're making. That's why the number is elevated. Mm -hmm. There's a normal reference range of antibodies to your brain tissue because you have a whole new body every few years. And the way that happens, you get rid of the old cells, you make room for the new cells. And the way you get rid of the old cells includes antibodies to get rid of the old and damaged cells. So there's a normal reference range for those antibodies. But when you have elevated antibodies, you're killing off more cells than you're making. Mm -hmm. That's why 
Blue Cross says, we have a huge problem here. There's been a 407% increase in the diagnosis of Alzheimer's in 30 to 44 years old. Because they don't know that this has been going on for 15 or 20 years already right. inside their brain. They don't know they've been killing off brain cells, killing off brain cells, killing off brain cells. So if you want to, invite your, your followers and we'll, I'll do the interpretation on your show. And they say, oh my God, I had no idea this was going on. That'll mo motivate you to learn how do I reduce the inflammation in my body because I don't want to keep going in this direction. Done. Done. It's a deal. It's a deal. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to order it today. Great. All Great. right. Tom. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for that offer. I am going to take you up on it. So we're going to reschedule. We're going to schedule you for another one and we're going to connect again. So I love Sounds this. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.